Hello and welcome to the Chess Cave podcast where, you know, we talk random shit and everything again. There is a review of something, of some kind. Uh, I'm your host, Dragon King Thomas Hughes. I am once again joined by Mr. Zenny Boy, Big Zen. Yeah, uh, Zenbo. Zenbo. Zenbo, Connor O'Shea. <laughs> Zenbo. Zemboni. Zemboni. Yeah, the Zemboni. <laughs> that should be your new username, the Zemboni. Oh, yeah, Zemboni. <laughs> that could even that, that could even be a uh, a play on obviously a uh, oh what's the, what is it is what's the actual thing? Is it the thing of the, what we're thinking of? What, so what, it's what goes on ice, isn't it? Are these are the ice rinks. Is it? I thought it was called them belly. What? what I'm wrong. It might be. To be <laughs> I don't know. I, I just keep trying to think of the safe part version with the priests. When they, uh, I was keep thinking of dead porn even that go over. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I keep thinking of the, uh, the South Park one. They changed the name in South Park to something else because it's meant for like a, a dirty thing. A priest trying to fucking cover up their uh, <laughs> semen. <laughs> um, but I, I think it probably is, to be fair. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, today uh, our topic of choice is trying to like come up with uh, at least 10 video game deaths that we think are really great and then just trying to pick out of the like the ones we've chosen a number one the number one greatest yeah. video game death i feel like that's the easiest way to sum this like video up so uh without further ado i want to kick straight off into this so that's still my opening one because i feel like you're gonna probably try to steal this one uh any of the halo reach noble team death from halo reach i haven't got any of these on my list so oh, thank you're fuck. all right uh, I just, I, I just feel like because I've obviously recently played that game that's what made me come up with this topic of choice for this video um, I re- obviously recently played it and I was like oh yeah shit this is as good as I remember it being from like fucking like secondary school when that first when it first came out and mm. it always had an impact on me because obviously I'd never played any Halo games before that I think I played a little bit of Halo 3 but not enough to say oh yeah I played Halo so Halo Reach was my introduction level to Halo and I always just remember, like, going into it and like, being so shocked that one by one, every character just dies. I'm just like, oh, shit. You know, except that pussy Jean, who just, like, fucks off uh, in the, with the others. But, I mean, every character one by one dies in, in, like, their own great way. So you've got George, who obviously, noble sacrifice, throws six out of a ship to blow it up. Uh, Cat was the, probably the most shocking because it's just out of nowhere, sniped in the head. Uh, you've got... Uh, Carter, who is kind of a random death, I feel like, is because it's it's just like one moment they're like escaping, and the next minute it cuts to them in like a obviously the uh, is it a, it's a falcon, isn't it? They're flying Halo. Uh, is it a pelican? Think, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not. Uh, to be it's honest, a, I play mainly the multiplayer. It's a bird name, though, isn't it? It's some form of Cause I mean, the, sparrow. Is it a sparrow? No, I think it's a, it's either a falcon or a pelican. I can't remember from that. Oh, game. I, don't I think know. it's a falcon. I think pelicans mainly in the other ones. But I just remember it just randomly cutting uh, to like a, a loading screen. You hear like an AI talking saying, "Oh, you're injured." I was like, "What? Why is this going <laughs> random?" And then it's like, it cuts to the guy in like the cockpit. And he's just bleeding. I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" And they're all like fighting off obviously the Covenant in the ship. I was like, "Wait, so how do we go from oh we're here now, let's get out of here to oh shit, he's gonna die. this guy's gonna die?" <laughs> it's just such like a random moment. And obviously then the, it does obviously there's a noble sacrifice when play on the ship into someone. I was like, oh, okay, that's like the most random one out of all of them. And then you've got uh, Emil, who, you know, kind of ends up killing himself after he gets stabbed and then just throws himself off a building with one of the uh, elites. And then you've got Six, which is probably the most shocking because it's the main character. And it's very rare, a video game kills off a main character. Yeah. And for like, that whole mission of just him by himself, just going as long as he can, and one by one, obviously, the glass cracking all over his vision before it cuts to a cutscene of just seeing the camera point of view from his helmet as he just dies. That is just so impactful. And that's why I feel like any one of those deaths, not like just one single one, I feel like any of the noble team deaths. Cause obviously, if you've played Halo, you've, you've never obviously, you know, obviously, there's no noble team in any games, really. So he's kind of a, a, a red flag there, like, hold on a sec, what's going on here? But as someone who <laughs> didn't play Halo, it was a shocking like whoa i didn't sign up for any of this but fuck me that was good that i just feel like any of the noble team deaths can fit into this list so i'm just going to say noble team halo reach noble team. 
Stick them all in. All stick, dead. Stick them all in. <laughs> Except Jun, because he didn't die. We'll see. Yeah, just, 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 the, just the rest of them. <laughs> Number one, two. <laughs> is it three, four, and six? Or is it... Is he fight? I can't remember which one Jun was, but either way, he's a pussy. Anyway, what's your, what's your uh, first pick? All right, I'm going to do one, because I'm scared you might steal this one as well. We've got a big one. It's uh, Dom in Gears of War 3. I have not taken that one. You've not got that one? I've never played Gears of War 3. I remember, I, I, I remember being like younger when I played it. I mean, when did it come out? It's like Ooh. 2000, 2011, was it? I Maybe? Don't I don't, I I don't know. I've only ever played Gears 1. But I remember playing, obviously, the first two. Well, obviously being a bit young, but wasn't really like mega into it. And playing the third one, it's like main character just like sacrificing himself, and I was just like, <laughs> obviously it wasn't as impactful because my young brain was just like shoot stuff, <laughs> and, like going back and looking at. It, I was like, oh fucking hell! Like it is a good game. It's just I felt like that bit was just like the mega impact of the the, the series of this main character. Like, I mean, I mean you, you just like not many things kill off main character, and there's fucking another so, one. Is there's there's only a couple character. of games off the top of my Estimated. head? That I've killed off the main character. One of them's on my. It's one on my list. Um, one. Uh, I'd say maybe two are on my list, plus the, the Halo one, which I've already said. Yeah, I've got I've got one one other one on my list, but I, I'm 100. percent You're gonna have the other one. But I went for this one first because I was unsure. But 100, percent you're gonna no, have the other I, one. I've never. <laughs> ironically, I I fucking try to sit through like like, like videos and just like uh websites to try and find like different deaths and go. Okay, that was a good one. Like a couple I knew off the top of my head, I was like, yeah, I'm having them in, but it was just, just to fill out my numbers, I was like, yeah, 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 try and think of this. And that one kept popping up a lot, and I was just like, mm. I've never played Gears 3. I mean, <laughs> I I have a, an entire Gears of War Funko pop line from, I think it's Gears 4, I think the line's from, and maybe some of the earlier ones. Mm. But I've only ever played Gears 1, which was the remastered version I think I played, that I did on Xbox One. Gears is good, but which is. Uh... Obviously, a bit outdated now, but I mean, if the remastered or them, I'd definitely sit down and play it. I didn't play the newest one, I had bad stuff about the newest one, but I need to sit down and play it at some point. Yeah, I kept looking it's an at Xbox Game Pass, isn't it? I think so. I kept looking at them going, Yeah, there's no point playing any of them because I haven't played it in the other ones. It was like, be weird just jumping in. <laughs> I mean, God of War is a good thing of like retconning a lot of stuff and basically just mm. so you don't have to actually focus on God of War 1, 2, 3, and all the other fucking spin offs. But Gears is all like a complete timeline. It's just like it feel weird jumping in and running. It's why I don't I haven't played any of the more later Halo games, which is why I've started actually playing through the early ones now, so I can actually play the newer ones. Uh, cause it just feel weird jumping in, say I don't know, uh, Halo Infinite story and being like, shit, uh, w- what happened before this? I don't know. All I know is that Noble Team died in Halo Reach, which is, <laughs> is something else completely different. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I it's completely not on my list whatsoever. Um, that's that's another one that I, that you, I thought you'd have, but apparently not. I'm, I'm worried now. I feel like you might have this one. Um, but then again, you've. Hmm, do I let you take this one or not? Is the question, and go for another one. There's one. There's there's one. Maybe another one more on my list that I think you might have, but there's two. That you defo won't. Have. Just, just, just give me a hint in the sense of is it two characters dying at once, basically? No. Oh, okay then. Modern Warfare Two, oh. Ghost and Roach. Okay, I had Ghost. I didn't know Roach. But I had Ghost. Roach was the other guy. Shep- yeah, no, but I, I had Ghost down Shep- as like the Shepard executed both Ghost and Roach. I know, but f- f- Roach, Roach was, Go- Ghost was the that, that, Ghost was the, the impact on it. Ghost was the impact. But Roach was you. It was another char- playable character that you were playing as. Well, I'll have to shoot Roach. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, they're combined into one. <laughs> it's, no, it's the noble team all over again. <laughs> I mean, I remember playing. Obviously, the early, I think I, I think the first Call of Duty I really played, obviously, at the Modern Warfare trilogy was probably MW3. But obviously, then mm. I went back for the old ones, obviously MW and MW2. And I remember just playing MW2, like most people, and being like, "Oh, this character's like quite cool. Like he's like." So, like, mysterious with his ghost mask on. And then it's just, like, that moment where it's like, oh, this guy's, like, coming to save him, finally. You've, like, done this whole yeah. mission. You're, like, yeah. you're there sweating your bollocks off, like, fucking, come on, save this, save this. And then the fucking helicopter comes. And you're, like, thank fuck I'm safe. 
And then it's just like the execution style on Ghost, and you're like, fucking bam, and then he. And then it's fucking <laughs> just Roach as well, and it's like, for fuck's sake. And it's it was like, good. It's just like so out of nowhere, and like, it's just like so shocking. And it's it that massive plot twist, like, oh. I was it's, saying, massive, it's, 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 it's very rare, like, a game has like a massive, massive plot twist. Like, it, that's mainly safe for movies. <laughs> Like, there's usually twists and turns, but there's nothing like the, that sort of level of this guy was with you and now it's like, yeah, fuck you, dude. Mm. Unless you can't Kevin Spacey in Advanced Warfare, which is also <laughs> a great video game death because they kill Kevin Spacey. <laughs> the only other game where, like, the game that, that reminded me of when he betrayed you is Metal Gear Solid, where, like, the Colonel guy also is on the, the bad Box. guy, which is very similar. So I was like, ooh. Yeah, it's just one of those things that just came out of nowhere. Like, as I say, you just been like yeah. defending. You like, I think is it like uh, you gotta get data from like this house or something, and you're getting the data, and it's like then it's like fucking hordes of fucking enemies coming after you. And you just gotta defend yourself. All I remember is a helicopter coming down, and he's like, "Get in, good." And also, it's like, <laughs> "Did you get it? <laughs> good job, soldier!" Bang. And, and then, then he, he sets you on fire. Then he yeah, the most you on fire, fight. which is so fucking End. like dark as well. I feel like that's what makes it even better. Like, like, it's the execution, obviously, of both characters. And you're like, Jesus Christ. And you, you're still slightly like moving, if I remember correctly, as Roach. Yeah. And then it just burns you alive. And it's like, what the fuck? And as you said, then it builds up to the most satisfying like, death ever when they fucking uh, price oh, yeah. kills fucking... Uh... And they give Price a knife around his eye. Yeah. And he finally kills That's what you can see. And Price and fucking yeah. soap team up. You're just dying on the floor and you're aiming it and you're wobbling because you're off and then you go, whoosh, and then you just like, ow, oh, shut his eyes, like, yeah. Yeah. Such a good fucking, I'm rust as well, man. The 1v1 map. <laughs> MW2 is just like, peak Modern Warfare. Yeah, and then the, I think yeah, Modern Warfare 3 went down a bit. I liked the original Modern Warfare story, that was pretty good. I think he just went like, it was like Modern Warfare and the Modern Warfare 2 story, and then he went, blah, blah, blah. I didn't mind my end of E3, I think it's just because that was my first sort of entry in that trilogy. So. Oh, your mic is taking a dive. My mic, a, a <laughs> my mic uh, he's got executed. He's got executed. Top, top, top deaths. <laughs> mic Tom's <phone>. mic. <laughs> mic. Mic down, mic down. He's Shepard again. Go on, get your knife out. <laughs> That's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, that's that's just a, a very impactful one as well. So, what's your second choice? Oh, this one. If, if you haven't got this one, I don't know how you haven't got this one, right? I'm still playing through the game, but I've seen a lot of it, so I'm gonna pick it. And it's obviously the Arthur Morgan death at the end of Red Dead Two. Dude, dude, that's my joke. <laughs> that's my joke one. That's my joke <laughs> one, because uh, I would say Arthur Morgan from Red Dead 2, but, you know, dying of a disease isn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty good. It's like... Don't get me wrong, like, he has a satisfying ending, but it's just the fact that at that point he's dying anyway, so it's not It's not, mm. It's not. not fun. It's like if I put Aunt May from Spider-Man PS4, she dies of a disease. That's not fun. Yeah, I don't think he's from the death where it's cool, but I think it's, it's just like impactful. Red Dead 1 more than anything. Yeah. Red Dead 1 more than anything. I mean, <laughs> I've, I've never played Red Dead 1 and I've seen that death and it's just like so brutal. I'd say that. I think, about Arthur Morgan. See, I think visually, Arthur Morgan, yes. But I, I think, think it's just the fact of like, the fact, that cinematic. the fact that you're not dying of a disease already, Red Dead 1. Oh, my next choice is uh, Aunt May Spider. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the thing. I, went, I was obviously going for the ups <laughs> making my list. And I went, oh, Red Dead 1 had a pretty cool ending. I remember just lying on the cliff edge, looking get into a beautiful thing. I think I've got the image on my phone that I took a picture of my TV. I was like, ah, oh, it's a beautiful shot. But then deep down, I was like, yeah, but he was already dying of like, tuberculosis, wasn't it, at that point? So, I mean, that, that's not that's not a call. Cool. It is die. pretty good. Cool. I, the... I think it's a set off. Like, I think it's just a good like <laughs> ending to it. I think it's one of them things where it's like, there's not many games where a character just like, main character just dies of like, a disease or like old age or anything. It's just like they always have to die in some heroic way, and this guy just like was like, yeah, fucking. Yeah, but he always died tuberculosis with inside. Oh no, it's more realistic. And <laughs> I could die with TV. I can't get died again, blown up by some cowboys. Well, you never know. You never know. Hello, <laughs> <over> to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, I'm up for this. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that that was my joke one. 
No, you're it's joking. Half and, it's right? half and half. Yeah. It's half and half. Do you want to pick another one then? If no, I, you if can I keep it. You one. can keep it. You can keep that one. I think it's pretty good. Because the fact that I've took the ghost and roach one, so I feel like we might have need that one anyway. Yeah, okay. If not, we, if not, we just throw the Red Dead one in as well. <laughs> See, that's funny because that's not even my joke one. <laughs> <laughs> it's my joke one. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Um, okay, so that's your second choice. Uh, my third choice is going to be a, a sad one. Uh, it's uh, Sarah from The Last of Us. Oh, the first one. First game. See, I'll, I'll, I was thinking you were going to put Joel on your list. But no. then that's kind of, I was kind of forced death. That was kind of yeah. like... That was kind of a middle finger to the fans, wasn't it? Yeah. But Sarah was such a sad... De- I mean, to start a zombie game by watching a little girl like die from a gunshot was just really sad. I mean, I watched... Um, uh, fucking... Uh, Nolan North and Troy Baker play it. Uh, when they did a play for on it. And they had the actress who played Sarah on there with them. And she was... Just, they were just doing bits, just watching it. And it's just... Because it's such a sad moment... I think it's one of the... Obviously, I've not sat down and played it properly. I remember the beginning bit. I think I played the beginning bit. But I think it's one thing, especially like after watching like reviews and video stuff, it definitely looks like one of those games where it's really impactful. Like, it, very good storytelling. But obviously, you've played number two, and I've seen all the reviews and stuff in number two. And I think, obviously, Joel's death was death over So maybe it was one of the things of, like, introducing like new characters and killing them off really fast. It's pretty good. So... I mean, she was also a playable character. Didn't even know she was playable. Because you got to play it at the start. I oh, didn't even know. Oh, yeah, I, did. I feel like I played it. I definitely played it at some point. You got to play as her before you got to play as Joel. And then obviously it's Maybe. just a Joel, and then she got gunned down. And it's just like, wait, they just killed up a little girl. And that is the sort of set up the emotion for the game of him trying to help Ellie. Because so. that's his daughter now. <laughs> Basically, but yeah, I, I just thought that was like such a sad. It's 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 a death that's not like a heroic death. It's an emotional death. Mm. So it's not like any of the ones we've like done so far, which is like heroic or the sh- like out of nowhere like a uh, main like big character deaths. It was more of a like a a, a min- mini character, but it was just like such a sad moment. I feel like just because the fact it was a little girl. I feel like it, this that they killed off a kid at the start of the game made it even more sad. Mm. I mean, I, I, I didn't need to sit down play it. But you can get it's remastered now, isn't it? Yeah, they can get it remastered on PS4. And I'm the, pretty sure. There's, I'll, there's, I'll there's rumors that they might remaster it again for next gen. Yeah, I'll probably pick it up. To be fair, and so you can pick it up for next gen. I think. I mean, it's the, one of the first games I brought on PlayStation. It was one of those ones that I was like, I ended up playing it because it's scary. We and I played <laughs> it. Was like, oh my god, this game is fucking amazing. <laughs> I didn't need to sit down and play it. Yeah, I, I mean, it's one of the games where I need like some time off work. I would just sit down and blaster it like in one session, not yeah, like more all it all takes. I feel like it took me a while when I first played it because I, mean, I remember at one point playing it and like. Like pausing it like at one point, just going to Sainsbury's and then coming back to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after Sainsbury's, I, I, I remember this did a mission. It's like, oh, we need, to go for this, we need to go into this tunnel. And I remember my mum was, I, can't remember, I think it was my mum or my sister, so like, oh, do I get to Sainsbury's? So I was like, yeah, sure, why not save? I just left it on pause and fucked up to Sainsbury's. <laughs> yeah, like, come in. Sainsbury's, oh, yeah, give me a minute, come back. <laughs> it's like, uh... and, uh, fair, I've done that before. I mean, I, I did the <laughs> Odyssey. Uh, I did the big opening for hundred battle. Paused and went to fucking Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake! <laughs> You've heard it all now, haven't you? <laughs> Go on then. In, uh... in, in, in the thumbnail video, you gotta put like the picture of like the little girl and the saint, which is like the top of her head. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw a little bit of a curveball because it's not really main. It's not like the villain of the game, but I feel like oh. it's such a like a big. Death. I'm not, I don't think you've played it all the way through, but um, Borderlands 2, Handsome no. Jack. No, I played it. Like, I mean, I played like the first five seconds. <laughs> it, it is good. It's just like the character's there for the whole game. It's like obviously the bad guy, but he's like got his own like backstory and everything. And then you kill him at the end, and it's just like, oh shit, like after all this, because he, he's like a really good built character. Like he's got his own reason to do it. Obviously, it might not be the right reason, but he's got his own reason to do it. And then you were just like, you just can 
blast him at the end to kill him. And it's just like, I think it's just impactful. It's one of the things where, like, there's not many games where you feel bad for killing the, the bad guy. Like, I was just like, oh, shit. See, that's but, the thing. I've, I've now played Borderlands 2, apart from, I'd say, five minutes. But I know shit. he's dead because of Tails from the Borderlands. Because he's, a, like, a, a ghost hologram in that. So I know he's mm. dead. So I, I've never seen that, so I can't really agree or disagree with you because I've never seen that death. Maybe it's something to Google after this. I think the, the problem, so this is the biggest thing in Borderlands, so obviously you've got like the main quest and you've got like the side quests and everything, but you need to do some of the side content to be leveled up enough to the main content, but the, the main stuff is so good that I wish you could just sit and just all the main stuff, I mean you could do it, but obviously then you get like difficulty spikes and you kind of fuck everything up, but I'd rather just have like big story. I've never played Tales of Borderlands, so maybe one of them things that I should go back and oh, play I, I, I recommend playing that because that's a pretty fun game Tales is that, that was my introductory um, level to Borderlands and then Tiny Tina mm. but I reckon I do recommend playing Tales it, Tales is a really fun game that's got fucking Joe Swanson in from uh, Family Guy he's like the main character's boss and he's quite funny to be fair I think I'm Joe like he's like he's even like Joe no <laughs> Just, it's, oh, it's yeah, Patrick Joe Warburton Family Guy. Patrick, <laughs> pa- Patrick, Patrick Warburton but I always remember his name as Joe, I'm yeah. the guy. I'm going to, okay, if you said different guy, I'll blow you the hell's out until you said Joe anyway. So. Yeah, it's easy to remember him as that. Or the guy that got killed <laughs> in Scream 3. Because he was in Scream 3 for like so long as like a bodyguard and then got killed. And then come walking through the it. front door with a knife in his head and like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, knife in his back, sorry. Like, oh! um, okay, so we've got three each. Um, oh, here's another... One, it's not a villain death, but it's a character you don't get to play as death. Uh, oh, no. Blackbeard from Assassin's Creed Four, Black Flag. Oh yeah, I played it. I mean, that death is so like badass and out of nowhere. It, it's just the whole thing where it's just like you're fighting, and the next minute it cuts to like a cutscene on the ship, and you're battling with like uh, Edward's battling with some like villains. Uh, Blackbeard's like shitting Kenway, and uh, he's there like shooting their way at these villains. And then he gets fucking just shot in the back. And he's just like... I mean, dead. Because, I mean, we all know how Blackbeard goes. Obviously, he gets fucking dragged by the ship, doesn't he? And the actual uh, history of it. Like, the mythology and whatnot. He gets dragged by the ship, by his neck on the ship. Obviously, there's the sea, like, straight in the back. And, like, Edward's reaction, like... And he can't even do anything because he gets fucking tackled off the ship. And he's just like... But then again, that whole game, it does a Halo reach and starts killing off character after character. Because then at the end, there's that really nice moment where there's like a really beautiful song playing. There's all the ghosts of the dead sat around a table like, looking at him like, you did it, man. You did it. Now go, ra- now, go, now, go raise your, now go raise your son to be a Templar. <laughs> there's, not, there's not many games that I wanted to remaster. Obviously, they did. Was it number three? They remastered. They remastered the, the Ezio trilogy and they remastered, well, sort of. And then remastered uh, free with the uh, Liberation game. Mm. I don't think three three was really needed for it. I don't think three was as good as Black Flag. I think Black Flag should have. Yeah, I, I agree. Black Flag's a better game, but I love free. I hand down. Good, but I, I, don't, I don't think it, it was like a massive jump. Not like I feel like numbers like obviously with Black Flag, it had that like he wasn't like this assassin straight away he's like learning to become an assassin i think that was the best thing about it yeah but the only thing that i hated obviously back in the day because i was impatient i think now if i played it i'd love it but back in the days hate the sailing i couldn't stand it because it's so long-winded like this whole thing of going from here to here it's like oh i've hated it but yeah. now i think I'm yeah but I, I i love the sailing just because you get to fucking blast out the fucking sea <laughs> shanty as, you dry, as you're fucking sailing <laughs> yo ho yo ho stick your finger up my bum <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't think that was in the uh, soundtrack, but I mean, they missed out an opportunity by not playing that. That's what he was thinking the whole time. He's like Blackbeard. <laughs> Put that from finger Blackbeard. right up there. From Blackbeard to Brown Finger. <laughs> <laughs> like, lights his beard on fire like he does in the, the game. And he fucking sticks his finger up your bum. <laughs> That's a cannon. He's like, when, it, when it gets to there, it goes like, poof, and there's like a smoke. That's when the finger goes up. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> oh for fuck's sake but yeah I just remember that death being so fucking cool and the fact that yeah, the- he was such like a, a pivotal part of like Edward's journey he was like because I mean Assassin's Creed is not like sh- shied away from killing off like 
na- uh, well-known names within their games. I mean, the Ezio yeah. games that, that instantly killed off his family, like hung them within five seconds of the game starting. Yeah, that was good. And that was quite fucking like, whoa. That's That's me. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Loved that bit. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Free obviously killed obviously Connor's mom, and obviously he's a lot of his tribe. Killed my mom. Yeah, killed your mom. <laughs> <laughs> your dad killed your mom. <laughs> <laughs> mom of the eyes. <laughs> See, I was gonna buy um, Black Flag recently. It's still really expensive everywhere. Like they haven't put it down. I think I brought brought the Assassin's Creed like collection when it was like really dirt cheap on Steam. Because I mean, I've got them all on Steam, apart from the original game and the Ezio trilogy. Because I think like the Ezio trilogy on PlayStation, the original game you can't get on really anything apart from really old consoles. Mm. But yeah, you see three. Really expensive for how old it is. Like, you think they might put it down, but it's like Call of Duty games on Steam, though. Oh, ridiculous dude, prices. Did you like, see the sale the other day? Quick. They put them on sale the other day, and I was looking, I was like, yeah. oh, I wouldn't mind picking up, say, like, uh, one of the like, ones I really like. Uh, and I looked at it, and I was like, yeah, I am paying that. And I looked at like, the price, like, if you tried to buy them all on sale, and it was like over 100 quid, and I was like, Hello, oh, ridiculous God. money. I was like, kiss um, my fucking ass. What's the matter? to find. The Assassin's Creed Black Flag, right? This how much it is on Steam. Thirty three ninety nine. Fucking hell! Do we so have a look at how much I paid for it? Because you can only buy the gold edition. You can't get any. You can't just get the standard. But obviously, it's still, even for the gold edition, that's ridiculous. Assassin's Creed Four. Oh, I don't think my emails go that far back. <laughs> if I wanted to buy the entire collection, which is twelve games, it's two hundred and seventy seven quid. Uh, oh, hell? I did. But- so I brought the collection for twenty six pound forty eight, and that included the. Uh, oh, apparently I did buy two of the but I think I have to send them back so this wouldn't work. Oh yeah, they weren't the remastered ones; they're basically just the old ones, and it just steam just wouldn't work. Uh, so that's not a correct price. But uh, my version of uh, Black Flag came to six pound seventy nine. Not too bad. That's a standard edition. I didn't buy any gold asp edition. See, it might be cheaper on like the Ubisoft thing, but that's such crap. I oh, know that, <laughs> that, that was from that was from Steam itself. That's what I mean. I wish I could get it on Steam cheap. Oh, that's no. definitely one that I'd I'd pick up if it's on well, sale. Well, again, I brought that in 2018, 21st of the 12th, 2018. So that was a Christmas sale. Uh, well, and then one. for some reason, I've got an email from like 2020 saying. Already done with Black Flag. <laughs> 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 to be fair, though, I think I, I think I did like actually. I think I brought it back in 2018, played a bit of it, and then stopped playing it, and then eventually went back to it in 2020 to play more of it. And it's it's already the, done with Black it's, Flag. It's just the fact that I've only got two like emails that have Black Flag in the the the, the, the title, and the other one's just saying already done with Assassin's Creed Black Flag question mark. And it's just a picture of like the crew like walking towards the camera. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see that. If I let's put it to my camera, no, yeah, so, I it's can. just like a picture of the crew like coming to the screen. It's Already just, done. So literally, a twenty first to twelve twenty eighteen was when I brought it. Then that email was from the fourth of the fourth twenty twenty. So it must have been. I prefer that I did remember early COVID playing it a lot. Mm-hmm. So maybe it was just the fact that I'd fit, stopped playing it like, completely and stopped playing it, and then it was like already done. I think I played that and then jumped into Rogue straight after. Are you ready, son? Are you ready, son? Are you winning, son? <laughs> uh, wait, who's, it's your turn now, isn't it? I've done four, you've done three. Go on, your turn. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know if to throw my little joke one kind of in between my, my more serious one at the end. I don't know if I'll throw my joke one in. And it's uh, Daisy at the end of uh, Doom, which is his pet rabbit. He just he didn't like hardly any back to me, he just holds up a seven head of a rabbit in the end. <laughs> and that's it. For fuck's sake. It is quite sad though. It's like John Wick and his dog. He's just like his rabbit though. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Have you got an actual one? Have we got an actual one? Yeah. yeah. What's your actual I, I, one? Uh Vesmir in Witcher Three. That was another one. I found a, uh, like a list like of like stuff and I was like I was there going, 
Do I remember that death or not? Because I can't remember. I was trying to just think of like the coolest death, and I think it's one of the things where like it's... Was it quite early on in the game? Well, I'll say early on. Depends how much I question yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my story is quite early on. Does it, isn't the world hunt that get him? Yeah. It's at the I castle, believe. isn't it? Oh, bloody yeah. It's been a while since, but I just remember him dying. I, and I, was like, I mean, the last things I remember from which was just like the Siri in a bathhouse. <laughs> I remember, I remember banging the witch woman, even though like I meant to be finding me. <laughs> the first one I'm just like, that, that's all I remember from Witcher Three is just banging anyone in sight. I remember hailing, going, "Oh, is this side quest?" I was like, "Side quest, you say? Show me the way, you must." <laughs> and then just like following that, like, this elaborate like fucking side quest just to bang one character. I was like, "Oh." I feel, like of, I feel like one of the quests I always remember so vividly is the one with the three witches because it's fucking so like the door fuck like the big fat one and the one with like oh, oh mangled. The, the, the I love that quest. The ones in the house. Yeah. The stay on the kids. Yeah, because I was the meant to look like young and then you go there and all like fucking yeah. monsters. That's so cool. I was like, that's the one. That, it was like the art style of that just stuck with me. I was like, that's fucking cool. I almost played I need that to play again. it again. I, I almost played it again the other day. I looked. At- I looked, it was on sale on Steam, and if it's dead, it's like four pounds. I was like, and I looked, I actually have a PlayStation copy still, and I was like, do I play this? I end up playing Devil May Cry instead. Which one? Five? Yeah, just so I can hear the Devil Trigger! <laughs> <laughs> I only played it, like, the intro, just to first fucking listen to that bit again. <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to get it in my mind. I, I mean, I've, I've been playing too much, like, Horizon since I finished mm. that, and I mean, there's a death in that that is quite sad. Like, a main character, and you're like, aww. Which is funny because I remember just playing it and, like, and I was like, going, oh, kick his ass, kick his ass. Oh. <laughs> I was like, getting really behind it. It's like, oh, fucking kick his ass, man, you got this. And then he dies. I was like, you don't got this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah I, I think Vesna the is the, one, the, the, the castle. I think that's where he gets killed. I don't remember it off the yeah. top of my head, so I can't like fully. I need to replay it. I just remember him dying. I remember being like, oh shit, like this guy's meant to be like the oldest witcher going that you never need. <laughs> he's fucking dead. I say he's like on the, the more like high carded witches, isn't he? I mean, I think he's a. He's in Witcher 2, Series 2, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And he I is. believe he's, in the, he's the main character of the anime film when he's younger, before he gets fat. <laughs> before he before he goes from good looking witch to what the fuck looking witch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can't remember it too much, so I can't really like fully speak in depth for that one. See, I was gonna put down um I can't think of a fucking name there, but the death in Final Fantasy when Sephiroth kills her. But then it was like I was looking online, every list was like that's number one. And I was like, ah oh, fuck that, I know mean, <laughs> number one everyone's putting. I never played Final Fantasy, so again, I wouldn't be able to help you there. I, I can't think of what a name is, no. But yeah. I remember, like, you play as Cloud and, like, you, you're being, like, manipulated to kill her and then you resist and then Sephiroth just comes down and fucking just impale her, like, straight through the back. Oh, she's just but, dead. So the, the only uh, fancy, Final Fantasy anything I've seen is, uh, I think, is it, um... Oh, is it the anim- anime film? The CG one? Oh, that's yeah, I know you know. Witch Glaive or something like that. <laughs> something like that. Oh, my God, don't don't like, um, like, Sean Bean in it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm watching. It had like half a cast of Game of Thrones, and I remember that. It was like, like most, like, and then you had the guy from Breaking Bad for some reason. <laughs> it's, got Sh- it's got Sean Bean. It's got uh, the Breaking- other one at Game yeah. of Thrones. <laughs> oh, here's Aaron Paul, the guy from <laughs> Breaking Bad. <laughs> uh, okay, so my last choice then. Oh, I do have a backup just in case you don't have an extra one here. Uh, and that's going to be uh, Lee Everett I'll from. Five. Huh? I'll give five. You... Did you count the... Are you counting the rabbit then? Yeah. That's a huge one. Well, I did have obviously ghosts, but you don't go. You, so... you can have my other. Um... You have my other modern warfare one if you want. I'll do yeah, it. I'll, 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 do... I'll do it after. I'll, I'll, do it after the... I'll do it after this one. So my last choice is going to be Lee Everett from Telltale The Walking Dead, series one. Who's Lee Everett? The main character. character. The... The black dude. Yeah, the guy gets arrested at the Okay, start. yeah. Yeah, I have. I've played. I've, I've played that one because I remember it being free on Xbox ages ago and I played like the first episode, but I didn't play any more than yeah, that. Yeah, I, I just remember like, he's such a great character going through. And yeah, it's going to be the, the same case of, oh, but he's dying of a disease. That's not cool. <laughs> but there's diff- 
different ways he can go out. I mean, he can get shot in the head, so it's fine. Plus, you know, turn into a zombie's cold and dying of tuberculosis. <laughs> I remember the um is it the cannibal family when you're there. I, remember oh, that part. I always I, play, I always play that the same. It's like you could spare them and I go, fuck that, I tried to eat me. I always like beat the ever living crap out of every single one of them. I think, I, I think that's how I got up to I think. I always kill them no matter what. I, 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 See, I that, never hold that, back. That part never made any sense where it's like you can spare them because the, you're killing zombies because they're eating people. So surely, <laughs> why not kill people like, oh, also eating people? Like, yeah, just but it's, so it's, the, it's the idea of, obviously, he's trying to just not kill. He just doesn't want to mm. kill as much as he, as the lighter games want characters to kill people. So it's that kind of idea. But then, obviously, as it goes along and he gets bit trying to find Clementine and has to, like, save her and he has to give her the choice of handcuffing him to a... So leaving him handcuffed to a fucking uh, radiator. Uh, I believe one's, like, letting him just wander off. And basically shoot me somewhere, and there's the other option of bang to the head of a gun. Yeah, I think so. No. I just remember that being so impactful because it was like it was the first Telltale game as well, like the series, like first Telltale Walking Dead series. Uh, I mean, uh, and obviously going forward, then it was a study of oh shit, you've been this character building up this other character because they're the one that's going to be the main one going forward. Obviously, Clementine, because mm. you, you play, play the first game, obviously you, you with Lee 100, percent and you're like, okay, it's the main guy. And then when he dies, it's basically passing the torch on to Clementine to carry on her journey in the next series and then just, like, let some random geezer in the next series after that and then come back for one final series, which struggled to come out because Telltale going bye-bye and then eventually coming out. Um, And then a comic book, which apparently, like, did no justice to her whatsoever. But, I mean, it was just such an impactful moment. I mean, Telltale aren't shy from killing characters off in games at times. I mean, if you play the Game of Thrones, one fucking the entire characters you get to play as can die in that game. Like, every character you play as in the Game of Thrones game can die. It's ridiculous. It's like, oh yeah, would we need a sequel? Fuck off, I've killed all my characters! <laughs> but I mean, like, every, everyone can die in that, but yeah. So Lee's going to be my last choice. I've got another one. Go on then. Uh, my next one is Crane. In Dying Light, he only reminded me of this one because he did the multiple choice way to kill that guy, and I was like, "Oh yeah." I, I thought, that. I thought uh, you remembered it because I was on about Telta, and in the Wolf Among Us, there's a character called Crane because of Ichabod Crane. I mean, no. That would have been yeah, a, like um... a smarter way of uh, you uh, getting <laughs> that answer out of it. So no. I made you look like a smart pants, <laughs> and in reality, you're not smart at all. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> nah. Crane's death's pretty good because obviously your players in throughout uh, Dying Light one. But you got like the main game, and then you go into the DLC, which is where you get like at the end, you get the choice to even nuke the island, which obviously kills everyone, or you you become like um, a volatile, which you become a zombie. So like, which is kind of the same thing as the Telltale. You either become a zombie or kill everyone. So, but I remember his death at the end of like this DLC was like, oh shit! Like you thought he's gonna be like you big built up character in the main game, and you get to the DLC, it's like oh he's still getting this build up, and then bam. You're just dead. <laughs> but the ending's like, um, obviously, the one ending, you, you just nuke the island. It's not really like a massive, like, oh no, it's like everyone's dead kind of thing. But it's the other one where, like, he doesn't realise he's a volatile and he's walking towards, like, a village. And, like, there's, like, a kid on a swing and he's like, like oh, hello. And then also, they screaming because he's, like, he's volatile, dude. And he's like, fucking, like, yeah. It is good, man. I think it's one of the endings where it's like, it's very impactful. I think ending a video game on a death's really strong point. I feel like some games kill the character off. Like, I see in Borderlands 3, one of the main characters from Borderlands 2 dies, and it's just pushed over so fast, and loads of people fucking hated it. Even though I've been playing it, being like, that was fucking shit. That, that, that's basically like the Family Web episode I was watching earlier. Uh, the fucking pizza delivery guy had a heart attack in the toilet, and they spent the entire episode trying to fucking deliver his pizzas, but Meg was like, <laughs> using him as a meat bucket, and she had to get to the PlayStation and everything, like, do a thriller dance, and she delivered this one, it turns out he was having an affair with this woman, and she had to try and sleep with her inside this meat puppet, and at the end, they're trying to put him down the drain, because uh, Pennywise down there, and uh, it just ends with him stuck in the drain, and it just ends. Like, <laughs> they don't give a shit that his guys just died, just leave him there. It just, like, ends so, like, anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, but if you're going to talk about, like, fucking those sort of ones, you, like, I feel like Far Cry 5, the nuke at the end was quite shocking. I mean, it's like, whoa, what? It, like, cleaned, like, the playing field. And then out of nowhere, they're like, oh, yeah, we've got all these other games coming as well. 
How mm. does that make any sense? These games are connected to all these other games. We've never heard of a nuke before, but I mean, it was still a shocking ending. But my other Modern Warfare one I was going to give you was Soap, Modern Warfare 3. Because Soap was um, a big character yeah. going through all the trilogy, and then he gets fucking blown up in that building, and you have to drag his body all the way to a building just for him to die in Price's arms as he get, tells him Yuri's the bad guy, and he's like... Uh, I, I think I remember my problem is all three of the Modern Warfare campaigns are just merged into like one at this point. I, the only one that kind of stands out is obviously Modern Warfare 2 because the betrayal and the ending and the one mission where you're walking through like the Burger Town fucking fast food restaurant. <laughs> That's the only thing that sticks out. I can't really think of. Not even the fucking shooting all civilians at the airport. Oh, that, it's just, that's why it's, that's another one. See, Modern Warfare 2 is so fucking good. There's so much controversy in it. It's, and then they went down after that. I think, that. So. I think the, they couldn't reach well, it. I, see, the death what when I'm talking about uh, Soap dying, the next moment he's reliving Yuri as part of that team. It's the bit when uh, yeah. he tells Price the truth that he was part of that squad. It was literally, they're in a bell tower and you've like, got sniping points on a, a building, like a hotel. He's like, Makarov's going to be there any minute. And he's like, and you see, he's like, you're in there, Price, and he's Price in there. He's like, he sees like his friend is dead. And he's like, oh no, he's dead. And he's like, beep, beep, beep. And like, fucking, he pushes Yuri out the building. The building explodes and they fall out. And Pro- so fucking almost dead. Price comes over and you have to drag his lifeless corpse as it, you're basically like shit with a pistol uh, until you can get him to safety. And then he just dies on like the operating table. Like, I mean, that has impact with the fact that Price, Soap, sorry, gone through three games. That, and you're watching mm-hmm. a grown man in the form of Price, like, Break down mentally, so that, that was my one. I was going to give you if you didn't have another one. And then the kind of ruined life by fucking bringing him back in the latest Modern Warfare. The remake. It's just like it's sort of, oh, he's a remake one. It, it's not even a remake. It's a new story, isn't it? That's the only thing that annoyed me. Like, the reboot, basically. Remade. Yeah, they just kind of threw him back in. Whereas at least with like obviously, for example, the God of War reboot. Even though it's a reboot, they still kept the stuff that happened in the other games. Just kind of. Brushed over more than like thingy, but just brought him back up on the first place. I was like, hang on, I ain't need that. I pushed the ghost back as well, which is like another one. I was like, oh, hang on, why is he back on the dead? And I mean, they gave him that dedication with the game, didn't they? They gave him like his own game title and like the mask used in it, and yet he wasn't part of it. Like, mm. <laughs> let's call the game Ghost. Let's have their dog in it called Riley. Uh, let's have them wear the masks. Is he actually going to be in it? Fuck off, is he? Remember the fish AI that the that advertised it's like fish AI and everyone's like, Wow <laughs> I actually like Could you Ghost though. Ghost story was good. I just hate the multiplayer. Oh yeah, I, I know I know I don't play multiplayer, so it's fine. I play the story no, and enjoyed it. I was very, main thing. very upset that they it never got a sequel because I need to know how that ended. Because it ends so like cliffhangery. Anyway, um so okay, which one are we going with as like our number one choice for the channel? I don't want to go with like, the crowd, so I don't want to give it to the ghost and roach one, because like, the crowd would go with that one. I-, I-, I feel that was good, but I kind of want to go with one of the other choices. I think it's hard, though, because we've got different choices. But Hold on. Um, let me just delete some of these and write yours down, so we actually can actually go through it properly. So if I get rid of that... Um, do you went Arthur Morgan... Oh, D2. You went Dom in Gears 3. Gears 3. Uh, Daisy went... from two. Vesemir. <laughs> Vesemir. <laughs> not even spelling it. Not even spelling it correctly, but fuck it. Witcher three. Uh, handsome. Jack. And Crane. Two, isn't it? Yeah, and then Crane in Dying Light. Borderlands two and Crane Dying Light. Okay, so I, I said to you, I said I said Ghost and Rose, we should take that off the board. I don't I feel like it, it's a good death, but yeah. I feel like it's just going. I think that's one we can both agree on that that was like really good. Yeah. I mean, I, it's definitely cool. one we can both agree on, but I just don't want to go with like the most fucking videos. He's like, number one, Ghost, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. But we're not most videos, so we're gonna we're gonna not go with that one. Um Okay, so that that leaves us I think we're going to be able to tie here because we've got different tastes in games now. Like, I think this is where it shines through. Yeah, so obviously you've got Halo with the Noble team. We've got uh, Blackbeard with Black Flag. Uh, I don't mind getting rid of that one. I thought it was a good death, but I don't mind personally getting rid of that one. That's the thing, it's trimming it down yourself, your own list. 
until you've got something left. So I don't mind getting rid of that. Uh, obviously, Lee from Walking Dead, Sarah from Last of Us, Arthur Morgan, Red Dead 2, Dom Gear 3, Resume of Witcher 3, Handsome Jack Borderlands 2, Crane Dying Light. See, I, I was, I was going to say my two choices are between Crane and Handsome Jack, but I didn't think of Crane until the end, so I think I'm going to have to pick Handsome Jack. Plus, it's like a little twist because he's the bad guy and you kill him kind of thing. I think that's where it stands, that's where it shines through for me. Also, I've been replaying all the Borderlands recently. That's probably why he stuck so, out. So you're basically minus and enough apart from Handsome Jack. Yeah, I think that's my top. Just because it's so different. Obviously, the one may be a bit more impactful with that. I think that's one that just stands out. It's like, just oh, boom. Now, now I've got to remind them. My three are big ones as well for me. Fuck. Um, it's, it's like you could put like, The Last of Us, but obviously I've not played it, so I wouldn't. I'll be like, oh, I can't agree yet because I haven't sat down and played it. About the start of it. At least it's like, oh, yeah. the start of it. I mean, I've never played Borderlands Two, so I can't really agree on yours either. Oh, really? You want to think? Uh, have you, have you, we've both played Halo Reach, right? I'm not. I'm not playing. Sorry, no. Oh. I mean, I've got it. I've got the game. Well, I we've played we've kind of fucked there. ourselves heavily here, haven't we? But, oh, that's it. Well, Ghost, Ghost, Death, and <laughs> Rush. I mean, if I was to eradicate most of mine, so if I so if I got rid of most of mine, back to where it was. Hold on. So you got rid of those. So you just left with Borderlands. Um, we just give it to Blackbeard. <laughs> it's the only one we both play it. Let's give it to Daisy from Doom. There we go. Context issues she's a rabbit. She, did. she wasn't in the list, though. She wasn't in the list. Hey. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, Fuck, this is difficult, isn't it? I'm trying uh, to think of a middle ground. I'm trying to think of another death out of like, oh shit, I was going One that's not even <laughs> on the list. Yeah. We've got our top ten, it's like, but wait, there's more! Um, uh, my death in every Souls game possible, because I always die in it. Um, every time I have Pokemon faint. <laughs> Alright, babe. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I know what we can both put on there. The death of the entire franchise of Battlefield. <laughs> I've, I've, only ever, I've only ever played Battlefield Hardline. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm looking at all my games on the side. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, I can't... Oh, let me turn my torch on. Uh, I can't see my games, because I think my games are underneath all my Blu-rays. Um, trying to think. It's so difficult. Um, you know what? I think I'll pick I'll pick Hanson Jack and you can have another one and we'll put them as like our both choices as our number one. Because we can't we're going to be I was say we're gonna be here for about two hours if we don't do this. <laughs> I mean I'm looking around like the most pop culture filled room ever, just trying to figure out Fuck which anything else, Tom? Have you got anything? Pull up my games list. <laughs> Uh, any Spongebob Death and Battle Fiend Bikini Bottom when he falls off the edge of a cliff. <laughs> Number one. Um, no, I'm, I think I'm going to have to stick with that sort of idea of you because, I mean, I can't... My brain is just goo. I can't think. Um. Oh! I'm making both agree on, I think. Oh, no. Fuck, what's his name? <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. What game? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I, wanna, I don't want to feel stupid. Cause I, uh... I love that one we can both play. What's his name? Spamming through Wikipedia. I don't know why the names like slipped my mind. Then again, I've played the game in ages. Um... Where's the character? <gasps> oh, no, what we can both agree on. When you kill the big sexy tall lady in Resident Evil Village. <laughs> Why did she have to die? <laughs> doom. Doom, doom, doom. Where the fuck is this guy's name? Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom. Uh, he's not called that, he's got an actual name. Give me his actual name. Uh, Boulder, God of War. It's like such a satisfying death. 
It is a cool death, to be fair. Fighting on like the fucking, you it's fight. Like, on it's, on such well built, it's such a well-built. It's such a well-built-up death. I don't know why these names like slipped out of my mind. Uh, it's basically the stranger, isn't he? They're referring to us. Like, it's just, I was like, thinking of like God of War one. Yeah, I was thinking of God of War, but then I was like, oh, not I've really. Never, I've never played any of them, so it wouldn't even work. But then I thought, yeah, what? No. It's pretty satisfying death, and it's like it's built up. Obviously, what could happen in the sequel with obviously his mom. Mm. So we got so he's going to randomly throw him Boulder out of nowhere and agree on that. It was just satisfyingly built. It wasn't more than well, death, it was more of like the build up to death. Yeah, I think the whole. And oh, to be fair, his death thing was quite cool that he couldn't feel pain, and finally he could, yeah. and he's like, you actually batter him to death. Yeah. <laughs> Although, to be fair, like, all the big deaths in God of War are fucking brilliant, so. So, so, so you just give us a ball though, then, from God of War? Uh, no, I'll give it to Zeus in the original God of War. <laughs> yeah, it okay. took Baldur in. That's how, like, I mean, so we got out of the games, and that was like that. And one that we had to agree on. Yeah, the one that wasn't in the list, but we had to agree on something. <laughs> I mean, the one that I went with was Sarah Last of Us in the end. I went, yeah, I, went with I, I thought you would have gone with that it one. It was between fair. her and Lee. Those are my two choices. Well, I, I went for that because I was like, sad it was just watching her dad just like mentally break down at the fact that his daughter has been shot. It's something that could have been avoided. It mm. was an avoidable death. It was just really sad. But yeah, so so uh, Handsome Jack for you, Borderlands 2, Seraph, me and Last of Us, and they're not even part of the list, Baldor from God of War, just to agree on something. <laughs> um, okay, uh, trying to think of any sort of news I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, oh, Red and 3 got confirmed. They confirmed oh, yeah, I saw that. It's and, uh, confirmed for Ghostbusters 4. Yeah. And they come awesome. But basically, Venom 3, Ghostbusters 4, uh, a, a new Marvel car- uh, film called El Muerto or something like that, which would be like a really most, the like most obscurest of Marvel characters getting his own movie. Bad, mm. Bun- Bad Bunny's going to play him. The fucking pop star. What the hell? It's ironic, that character's a wrestler, and he has been wrestling a lot recently, so he wrestled at Mania, didn't he, like last year, so it kind of works. But people be like, so a lot of people are like, give it a chance. Other people are like, Oh, this should be all. Right. This should be interesting. I know people are like, why the fuck are you picking like the characters I don't even know? <laughs> it's it's going to be a gamble. I mean, they've gambled with Morbius and that fucked up. I mean, it made its money back, I think, in the end. But I mean, that's, it was a fucking disaster critically. And then again, Venom was a disaster critically. So I feel like as long as it makes the money back, I don't give a shit. So only don't. Mm. Um. Talking about stuff that there's a disaster, it's not actually news, it's actually more something I watched recently. Uh, I, I finally sat down and watched that new disaster movie, Moonfall. That come out back that come out back in February. It was like such a bomb at the box office. It's like the most expensive independent movie ever. It cost like 180 million or 50 million, so it's like ridiculous amount. And it only mm-hmm. made about like 40 million back or something like that, or 50 million back. It was a fucking disaster at the box office. But I watched it. And I went in there expecting like this, is like, this is, I've seen the bits to try. It's like, oh, the moon's fallen. And I was like, oh, I'm just expecting you generic disaster movie. It's from the same guy, Death Tomorrow, Independence Day, 2012. I was like, oh, I'm, I know what I'm sort of getting into. I was watching it. And I was like, when it's like, you did all the twists and turns, like, well, this is not what I was expecting. Like, <laughs> the moon is literally alive. It's like this alien parasite creep, like, basically like Transformers, but without the big robots. And it was like, it went so, like, crazy. I felt it was that, like, fucking insane that it was just a bit entertaining knowing something that's like so bad but it's actually like pretty good oh, the, uh, the, is it the room or whatever y- yeah it, it was just something that was so like it, i feel like if it was stuck to its generic disaster movie i feel like it would have been like a there yeah, fuck that but i feel like for the fact that it just went to that limit like extra length and was like oh like humans spoiler alert i know you're never gonna watch this but uh spoiler alert to other people out there uh like it's like oh Humans are like, created by aliens. Uh, aliens also created like a, an artificial intelligence that went basically crazy and like killed them all. And basically, the moon was the last like spaceship that got sent, <laughs> and it's trying to destroy the the last ship available. And inside the moon is like a whole fleet of fucking ships and everything. It's like it's so fucking crazy, but it's got such like a famous cast, like really well known, like Patrick Wilson who was in the Conju- uh, Conjuring in a uh, Aquaman. Uh, mm. Hattie Berry from obviously X Men. Uh, John Bradley from Game of Thrones. He played the big uh, chubby guy. 
remember him. One who basically went out that uh, woman who had a kid in the barn. Remember correctly? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's in it. Know. He keeps switching between American and British accents for some weird reason. Like every time he speaks, he's speaking like his normal voice, and every now and again you hear like a slight American, like forced accent within it. I was like, this guy's forcing this accent really badly. Um, who else is in it? Uh, Michael Penner, who was in that Ant Man and Wasp and Ant Man, his best mate who always doesn't stop talking. He was in it. Uh, the classic stepdad in uh, any uh, Roland Emmerich movie that doesn't survive the entire movie. <laughs> any Roland Emmerich movie, if you're a stepdad, you're fucked. Because they always end up yeah. uh, But yeah, I watched that and I was like, man, this is so fucking insane that it's just, it's actually pretty entertaining to watch. It was just too over the top, but it worked really well. And it's, mm-hmm. uh, it's a shame because it ends on a moment where it's like, let's begin. Like, ready for a sequel. And it's like, yeah, this movie's never getting a sequel. It was bombed so badly. Like, it, 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 it lost over 100 million. It's never getting a sequel. But it's just a moment it's just the old woman's like, let us begin. And I'm just like, if you ended before that, if you just like ignore that ending, like you end on Earth with all the characters, it's great. You can, it's fine. You won't have to worry about a sequel. But the fact that they're through like a, a little tease before the credits, and it's like, here's a sequel on the way. Sequel's not on the way because it's more than likely you're going to get canned because it was a disaster at the box office. Yeah. It's on, um, my, de- it's on my desk, actually. I was going to mention to you, and also we can have it as like a little. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's on my desk. <laughs> move for. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we can also on. have it as a little new segment. Is you can finally move your games from the Bethesda launch of PC. Can you now. finally do it now? I keep. I've been yeah. looking for the past month for a fucking like to do it, and it's like not yet. Not mine's, yet, not literally, yet. mine's literally just moved over, and I've got all my DLC and everything, and it's like, click here to move your save game over and stuff, so I'm just, I'm currently moving. It takes like two seconds, but then you're going to have to reinstall um, the game, I imagine, because I've got it installed on thingy, but it's not not that's, working. That's, that's fine. I, I don't mind it either. Thanks for letting me know, though. I, I, but, um, I mean to do I'm it. pretty sure... Before they moved some of the games, they gave some stuff free. Like I know they've got, um, I think they've got a Dagger 4 for free on Steam currently, because obviously we have been moving the one bell to sell that stuff again, so it's currently just moving over. Oh. I don't know why Doom Eternal is updating on fucking Bethesda if it's already on <laughs> Steam. You're, you're moving over. Here, have another update on this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. was that now? I might restart Doom and I might just fucking I'm and then st- game that I restart. I've started it way too many times now, Eternal. I think I'm on like my fourth time of playing the opening. <laughs> <laughs> last time, I, last time I played it with you when I did the Doomicorn, like fucking 2020. Mm. But it's been that long now. I probably have to replay the opening just to know what I'm doing. No! <laughs> uh, anyway, that, that, that's uh, Connor's news for the today. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, uh, if there's only a little bit of news, I'm pretty sure what I was reading earlier that is that Terraria is getting like a, a new update or something for like this year. Isn't that finished, like updating now? Uh, apparently, because I remember they was going to make Terraria 2. I don't know if they're still doing it now, but if, I'm just looking now. Uh, official 1.4.3 update. They've got like a trailer and stuff. I think it's more like Life of like, just stuff that's going to make the game a bit better. Like, uh, For example, yeah. like, oh, no, you could have, like, before you could only hold, like, 20 potions or something. Now you can hold, like, 999, so you ain't got, like, a shit ton of stuff. So they probably had some little events and stuff as well, but I'm just, I'm just looking at trying now, see if it's uh, changed anything. Oh, don't starve. Apparently you're getting, like, a crossover with it or something that's, like, permanent. 5,000 items to craft and find. I think they're just basically like relaunching it just so people buy it again. Oh, after the fact they were like, oh, it's over. Good game, man. I've got uh, at least 150 hours and I might actually download it again and replay. Never, play, <laughs> never played it. Don't never played it? What? <laughs> never, never played Terraria? It's like cheap as hell. I've never played It's always been on my list, I think, but I've never played it. It's so good. If I'm in games, I wouldn't stop playing. You just like you either love it or you or you hate it. Like you, 
you even going to play for hours and hours? Or are you going to like, yeah, I'm, I'm done now? Talking of being done, um, that is it for the <laughs> podcast this week. Uh, Hayden's back next week uh, to do his on mine going for it. Uh, the Lost World, Jurassic Park, I believe it is next week. I lost mm-hmm. track because we're, we're like quite ahead, actually, to be fair. We've, we've got ourselves quite ahead. We're up to the, the new ones at the moment. We've been doing it in bulk, just so basically we don't have to worry about it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's Lost World, the next one. Uh, so do check that out. And uh, check kind, of, it out, yeah. kind of about the week after for some more nonsense between us. Uh, I've got I've got enough time to try and think of a topic uh, for us to try and talk about. Uh, so yeah, uh, put your questions and comments below. Uh, and you can check out this and all the other previous episodes on YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music, and any other uh, streaming service for podcasts. Chuck them down there. Chuck them, they're already down there. Just like, no, I'm down chuck, there. Some comments, chuck some comments down there. Oh, I thought you meant like, the links. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just said that the links are already down there, but do yes, chuck <laughs> comments down there. Put them down there, Tom. Put them down I'm there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, that is that, and uh, we shall see you next time. You gotta say bye if, if people are listening to it, they won't be able to see you waving. Do sign language, but you still can't hear it. <laughs> Ta-da, you're, a bit. you're a fucking <laughs> moron, you are, you know, right? <laughs> once an O'Shea, always an O'Shea. Hang on, I won't be able to hear me waving. <laughs> Can you hear the, can you hear my even this sounds like you're masturbating into the mic. I am. Bye.